If you're upset at the screen time Mark Hamill got, just remember, at least in this one, he got dialogue. Welcome to the heart of the stories we tell. My name is Rob, and tonight I will be reviewing The Flash Mid-Season Break, Episode 9, and The Showdown with Savitar. Before I start, I just want to say, the idea of Speed Force legends and rumors makes me want to say, Where's my Max? Where's my Max? I will admit overall the season's been good, but this episode rocked. Before we get into that, let's throw this up. So once again, it's stop. Spoiler time. Bah, da, na, na. And oh boy, we're back to time travel. You know what? With the amount of times I have to say that phrase, you'd think I only watch time travel shows. But this time they went to the future. And if there's one thing I know about time travel, it's that changing the future is easier than changing the past. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So, let's go back to the whole concept of the Speed Force. The fact that it's an extra-dimensional place. Some place that can be used as a power source for speedsters, but also something that can be used as a weapon, aka flash-throwing lightning. And it looks like we're about to have a whole bunch of speedsters together. Yeah, Jay went back to Earth-3, but we now have him and we have Wally. And you know what? I'm glad they finally came around and gave him that suit. Because I was starting to think we were going to have to wait till the season finale before we saw Kid Flash in action. And you know what? I'm really starting to feel bad for Wells. I mean, really... Joe gives him a lot of shit for things that aren't really his fault. And as long as we're talking about weird things that I didn't think I'd see, Killer Frost controlling her powers and using them for a pretty powerful effect, let's be honest, it was still snowing wherever it is Barry bought that new house. This episode did introduce also the fact that at some point in the future, Barry's the one that locks Savitar away, and that Savitar uses these alchemy agents in order to try to bring him back. It's an interesting dichotomy. I like the idea, at least the base concept, that at some point in the future Flash has to go back and screw over Savitar. By then it'll be easy because he'll be the one with all the advantages. And I liked the whole alchemy thing. I thought that I would be a little upset, but I have to admit, Caitlin making the joke, look, I know all of our enemies say that they're our friends to begin with, was pretty on the nose, because let's be honest, that's kind of their go-to thing. As for Savitar's speed cult, I do wonder, are we going to see more of it, or is this the end? Is this just, we're going to see Savitar from this point out? We still see Savitar as the weird mechanical thing instead of as a guy, and kind of weirded out by that. But the idea of Savitar being the most powerful speed force user is still really awesome. So far, they've done a pretty good job at making Savitar not just another speedster villain. Let's be honest, after Reverse Flash and Zoom, were kind of full up of speedster villains. And the way they did that was by introducing the concept of the trusted lieutenant in the form of alchemy. I do hope that we see more villains like that than Savitar going forward, but I have to admit, Savitar really is cool, and I'd really love to see Wally get some of the other special powers he had right after Terminal Velocity, lend, move, speed, that sort of thing. In the meantime, tell me what you thought. This was the mid-season break, so next week, by the end of the week, I'm going to put together a compilation of what I thought of the season so far. If you'd like to see that and more, hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. In the meantime, I hope you have a nice night, and since we're approaching the holidays, have a happy holiday. And thank you for walking with me through the heart of the stories we tell.